This is the journey of Jotoku. Jotoku was an orphan boy who lived in Japan and he had two great ambitions in life. One was to travel the world. The other was to be a great origami folder. He loved origami, the art of paper folding, and he could find scraps of paper on the streets of Japan that he could practice his hobby with. One day, looking for some paper, he found an envelope. Aha! And inside the envelope was an invitation to visit an origami store, a whole store all about origami. This was pretty exciting, so he knew he could not afford to walk in the store, but he could look in the windows, and he did. He found the store, and he looked in the windows. He saw all kinds of books on origami, all kinds of special papers and foils, things that would make origami a pleasure to fold. And he was enraptured with the sight. But suddenly, an old man with gnarly skin and a scary demeanor looked at him through the window. And he jumped back and the old man waved him in. He said, come in, come in. I want to tell you your fortune. And so the boy walked in because he wanted to see what was inside that store more than he was afraid of that man. So he walked in and the old man pulled out his fortune teller. And we open up the fortune teller. You've seen these before. And the old man said to him, you have a lucky face. I want to tell you your fortune. What's your name? Jotoku, said the boy, J-O-T-O-K-U, and your favorite color, blue for the color of the ocean, B-L-U-E, and of these numbers, pick a number, seven, said the boy, for the seven seas, and the old man told him his fortune, and said, ah, you have a very interesting fortune, Jotoku, you will turn into a seagull for one year and travel the seas of the, of the world and learn the ways of the seas and the ways of ships. And with that, the boy began to shrink and grow feathers and he fell out of his, his robes and he became a seagull. And he flew around the shop and the old man said, I will see you in one year when the spell runs off. And out he goes through the window. Now, Jotoku had never been a bird before. He was liberated. This was fun. He was flying through the sky. He was soaring through the shipyards and he would hang out with the sailors and he'd eat the fish out of the sea and say, oh, that one tasted very marvelous and that one not so good. And he had a great time as, as, a, as a bird and he learned a lot about the ways of the sea and the world. He traveled the world until one day he was over the River Thames in England when his feathers fell off and he, he turned into a boy as he plunged down into the water, to the oily, cold water of the Thames. And here he is, he a, can't swim. He a, can't swim. Up there just goes one arm. Up oh, there goes the other arm. Up oh, there he is. He's in the water and he can't swim. But fortunately, this is a busy port. And there's a ship coming by, and here comes the ship. It's a steamship with two big funnels. And there's a lady on board, and she says, Captain, there's a boy drowning in the water. Throw him a line. And they threw him a line, and they pulled him on board, and the boy had left his clothes back in Japan. He was naked and wet, and they said, Quick, put some pants on this boy. So they put some pants on this boy. Kind of like Toreador style, huh? And they put on a turtleneck shirt, so he had a nice warm shirt to wear. And they said, oh, uh, young man, how did you get here? Where are you going? And, and the boy said, I've been on a long journey, but I have, haven't been to one place yet in the Netherlands to Holland. And I'd like to go there. And the captain said, well, that's amazing, but that's our next stop where the windmills are. And when they got off in the Netherlands, the boy walked among the windmills and he loved the sound of the wind pushing the windmills around and around. And then he heard his name being called on the wind, Jotoku, Jotoku. And he went up to the windmill 
And there was that old man inside the window of the windmill, but he couldn't figure out how to get up to the windmill except to grab onto one of the sails and climb upside down and climb on the sail and climb on the sail to get to the center, into the window. And he goes in, he jumps in exhausted. And then the old man says to him, Chotoku, I have outlived my mortal body. I fashioned this body out of parchment, but soon the spirit will leave this body and I want you to have your heart's desire. I want you to fulfill your dreams. And when my body, when my spirit leaves my body, you can hear on the bells. When my spirit leaves my body, then you could take what's left of my parchment and fold yourself a double-hulled boat, a catamaran, and it will magically transport you back to my shop in Japan. And so the spirit left the old man and he crumpled into a, an old leathery parchment. And the boy took that and he fashioned this double-hulled boat, a catamaran, put one foot on one side, one foot on the other side, and the mist came up. And he felt like he was sailing through the mist. And then the mist dissolved and he was on the shore in Japan, walking out of the water. And the rest of the paper boat just dissolved in a pool of bubbles. Now, the boy went back to the magic store, back to the shop of origami supplies to look for his heart's desire. And here he found books on wonderful things to fold. And he found beautiful papers but he didn't find his heart's desire. How could, he, how could he be a rich person and travel the world with just books and paper? But he sat down on a carpet and underneath the carpet he felt a bulge and he took the carpet aside. He opened up a secret door, a trap door, and inside was this box. And he opened up the box. And inside this was magic origami paper. And as he folded things out of this paper, they would become true. They would they would become themselves. And he, he he started folding himself a little boat, and the boat started getting bigger as he folded it. And he took it outside, and it started getting bigger. And he kept folding it and folding it, and got harder and more real. And by the time he was done, he had himself a Chinese junk. It's not a lot of junk. It's a beautiful junk the trait that will take him all over the world. And he climbed on board with a magic paper and some origami books. And he traveled the world and he had many marvelous adventures. And that's the journey of Jodoku. <laughs> so what do you think?